Hello guys, in this video we will learn what the basic reason why we use for loops within Python and what are the basic syntax of what is the basic syntax of for loop and why do we really have to use for loops and what are the basic mechanisms of uh, using for loops in bioinformatics analysis as well. <coughs> So to, so to get started, um, for loops are the most useful uh, uh, sort of uh, flow control within our programs because for loops are very, very, very useful and they have a very extensive functionality. They can read an iteratable. Iteratable means that it can be a list dictionary or any other string or any other variable that have an iteration sort of uh, a nature to it so that it can be uh, strided over, it can be run over by a loop so that it can read individual values. So, uh, for basic syntax of for loops is um, for loops is that we have to declare for so that it it can actually tell. Let's just create a Python file first, and let's we have to tell the uh, Python language that it is a for loop. And then we have we have to provide the variable name. My bad. Variable name over here in which the each corresponding value from the iterable iterable will be stored over to the variable for variable in and you have to make sure you provide in because in it is telling the for loop from the python language that the value from an iteratable let's just write it like this so that it makes some sense what we wrote and from let me just explain it to you this iteratable has values that are uh, that can be read individually for example it is a list for example it, it is a list let's just assume that this is a list one two three four and four okay so let's assume that th this is a list and this is a iteratable obviously an iteratable so for loop is telling variable to access each value in uh, in this iteratable and that each value goes in variable at each run time of that for for loop this for loop will run four times and each time individual value will be stored over to the for for the into the variable called name variable so let's run it in an explicit way for let's just define now sequence first list first my seek list and uh, let's define over here that uh, different accessions of genes so that they make some sense what what we are doing let's do it like that okay so let's change it to point one to point two point three point four point five point six okay there we go so in uh, total amount is 0.7 there we go okay so let's carry on so um, our basic logic behind this program is that we uh, we need to access each value from this sequence list from this accession list so let's just make it my access 